the entrance antiphon. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings of peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Wilfred Prados. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will say to you the contrite heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to draw sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the sea for us. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the mother Saint Barnabas be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and seal in his blood, and confidently profess it by our peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Tobit. Tobit called his son Tobiah and said to him, Son, see to it that you give what is due to the man who made the journey with you. Give him a bonus too. So he called Raphael and said, Take as your wages half of all that you have brought back and go in peace. Raphael said, the two men, Raphael called the two men aside privately and said to them, thank God, give him the praise and the glory. Before all the living, acknowledge the many good things he has done for you by blessing and extolling his name in song. Honor and proclaim God's deeds and do not be slack in praising him. A king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be declared and made known. Praise them with due honor. Do good and evil will not find its way to you. Prayer and fasting are good, but better than either is almsgiving accompanied by righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than abundance with wickedness. It is better to give alms than to store up gold, for almsgiving saves one from death and expatiates every sin. Those who regularly give alms shall enjoy a full life, but those habitually guilty of sin are their own worst enemies. I will now tell you the whole truth. I will conceal nothing at all from you. I have already said to you, a king's secret it is prudent to keep, but the works of God are to be made known with due honor. I can now tell you that when you, Tobit, and Sarah prayed, it was I who represented and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And I did the same thing when you used to bury the dead, when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner in order to go and bury the dead. I was sent to you to put to the test. At the same time, however, God commissioned me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels, who enters and serves before the glory of the Lord. So now get up from the ground and praise God. Behold, I am about to ascend to him who sent me. Write down all these things that have happened to you. 
the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down upon to the depths of his netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power, his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give, give him praise. Blessings are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, be aware of the scribe who like to go around in long robes and accept printing in the market places, seats of honor in synagogues and place of honor at banquet. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext, recite lengthy prayer. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the chancery and observed how the crowd put money in the chancery. Many rich people put a large sum. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciple to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. He was born in 675 in England and passed away on 2754 in Brescia, now in the Netherlands. He was an English missionary and reformer. He set the church in Germany on a firm course of piety and irreproachable conduct. People knew him with these two characteristics of standing out in his Christian authority and his fidelity to the Pope. He was the patron saint of Bruges, Germany, and World Youth Day. His original name was Winfried. He was an English Benedictine monk, giving up being elected to become an emperor to devout his life to the conversion of the Germanic Charles. He was also known as the Apostle of the Germans. In 722, he reported on his first return visit to Rome with some condition. Pope then instructed him to reform the German church. With this instruction from the Pope, Pope also sent a letter of recommendation recommendation to the religious and religious leader. Pope made him to become the bishop for his region 
and also authoring him to organize the whole German church. He was then successful in this duty to restore to the German church to its fidelity to Rome and to convert the pagan. He also followed two principles. The first principle was to restore the obedience of the clergy to their vision in union with the Pope of Rome. And the second principle was to establish many houses of prayer taken from the form of Benedictine Hall. Then he also went to Frankish Kingdom and encountered many problems because of the interference in bishop election, worldly worthiness of the clergy, and the lack of proper control. During his final mission to there, he and 53 companions were killed while he was preparing comfort for confirmation. With his death, he also carried out the Christian rule to follow Christ is to follow the way of the cross. Missionary glory is often part of in terms of bringing new person to Christ. He is the model for us to be faithful to the Catholic Church teaching, as especially to faithful to Rome and also to follow the Pope. And today is the first Saturday of the month. Every Saturday, we join with the church to honor Mary, our Blessed Mother. She is the model for us to be faithful to God and always to follow God. Let us continue to pray with her and also to follow the example of St. Boniface to be faithful to God and to always put God in our church, in our care, and also to pray to God in every day of our life. As we gather together in faith and love, let us join our heart and minds in prayer for our loving Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, as he leads the church with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those in positions of authority, may God move their hearts in leading with compassion and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for those who hunger emotionally, physically, or spiritually, may the Good Shepherd feed and nourish them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and now please join us in the prayer for protection and healing from the coronavirus and our family prayer. Lord Jesus, we travel to the village, healing every disease and illness. Help us out in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they be healed in their strength. Saint Joseph, Saint Francis Xavier, 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offering we bring in commemoration of Blessed Saint Boniface be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that they may be pleasing to your majesty, just as the shedding of his modest blood was precious in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, our beauty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. They are very suffering on the wonders of your mind. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resort. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, right now and without end, we unclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. My holy dear God is here, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppers was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until He comes again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come to you, we pray, and partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory. Gregory, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you to our ages. We may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and on the East Coast, forever and ever. At the same of command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lord. communion antiphon go into all the world and proclaim the gospel i am with you always says the lord
Let us pray. May the sacred mystery of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which makes your blessings marvelous and glorious, faithful in your service, and victorious in suffering, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you may see that we have decided the confessional room, beginning today, Father Joe and I, we will go back to the confessional room at this time, instead of going uh, to the crime room. So if you want to go to confession, please go to the confessional room instead of the crime room beginning today. And right after this class, I will be also available for confession. If you would like to go to confession, please go to the confessional room in this time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God reveal him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast us in our Satan, and all the evil spirits who crowd out the world, seeking the rules of souls. 